Hello and welcome to the screencast on DeliverPoint 2010. I'm Brett Lonsdale and I'm going to be showing you some of the uh, new features that we have within DeliverPoint that will help you manage your permissions with inside SharePoint. The first thing I want to show you is the unique permission report. This is something that's very, very useful to try and determine what permissions your users or your domain groups may have to objects throughout your SharePoint farm. With SharePoint 2010, there's a new feature called Check Permissions, and that allows um, users to be able to check permissions at site level, uh, list level, and, and even list item level. But there's still no overall picture of what permissions people might have to the entire farm. So one thing you'll notice is I can click onto the Site Actions menu and go down to Deliver Point 2010, and that provides me with uh, with this view of my, my server farm, allowing me to expand things like my uh, web application and expand my managed paths and then expand my site collection. And I can quite easily sort of get to all of the different objects, such as my, uh, my sites that have unique permissions. And I can keep drilling down and see which sites uh, inherit their permissions. You'll notice that these icons here are dimmed. That means they're inheriting permissions from the parent. And uh, as I drill down further, you'll start to see when uh, when these sites have unique permissions. Um, so you'll notice here that there's a, a corporate site that has unique permissions and it also has a, a line through it which uh, tells me that something within that site has also broken its inheritance, um, which in this case is actually a list item within inside a document. Now it's possible to, uh, to, to actually right click onto each object and find out more information by clicking onto properties. Um, so that tells me um, yeah, how many sites and how many lists and, and so on live within inside this uh, particular site and I can also open up the site there as well. Now there's two views to this, there's uh, the, the farm centric view which we're currently looking at as well as an account centric view and by going into the account centric view I can actually see the entire farm with a perception of a, a, a user or a domain group. So for example if I type in a user account such as Zoe, we can now expand Zoe, expand the web application, followed by the managed path, and then expand my, uh, my site collection. And as I expand all of these objects, this time you're actually going to see which sites Zoe has permissions to. So again, the, the, the sites that you can see at the moment, Zoe does have permission to. I can see that because the, the icons are, are within full color. And eventually when I get down to corporate, um, you'll you notice that that site is gray, which is telling me that Zoe does not have permissions to that particular object. So if I wanted to be able to tell what permissions Zoe does have, I can simply, uh, I can do this at any level. I can um, simply right click onto an object and generate a unique permission report. So I'm doing this for the uh, for the entire web application. So when I click onto the unique permissions, a report is generated, and that tells me what Zoe has uh, has access to, uh, and also how she how she gets access to as well. So you notice that um, Zoe has a, a, an account of DP Zoe. She's also a member of the sales group and also the authenticated users group. Uh, we can also see that she is a member via the domain group DP Sales. Uh, she, she's also a member of homeowners as well uh, and that's a SharePoint group. There's also unique site permissions so we can see that there's, uh, there's several permissions in here that she's been granted access to and also unique list permissions um, uh, and even down to the item permissions we can see which items Zoe may or may not have uh, permission to. So you'll notice that by simply changing back to the farm view this shows me the, uh, the, the the tree view once more, but this is uh, showing me it for, uh, for for myself that I'm, I'm currently logged on as. So I can hopefully see, uh, well, we'll be able to see every single object. Now, assuming that uh, Zoe requires the same permissions as another user, what I can simply do is right click on any object and go to account management and then perform a copy permission. So copying that permission, I can say that uh, Zoe really needs to have the same permissions as Brett. So um, I can enter Brett here and, and select the, uh, the the domain account Brett, and also go and select Zoe. 
So we'll select her and uh, I can add multiple people at the same time here. And then I can simply uh, go and copy those permissions across. So now Deliverpoint is going to do its thing and, and uh, in a moment or two Zoe is going to have exactly the same permissions as, as Brett has. So to view that I'm going to click on to job status. And you'll see that a number of jobs have been created here. And, uh, and here's one copying permissions from Brett to Zoe. Okay, so that job is now completed. So what I'm going to do is hit the drop down and check what it's done. So when I choose view job, notice that it's added Zoe to all of these different groups here, giving her the same permissions that, that I had. So it doesn't stop there. You can uh, not only uh, copy permissions, but you can also transfer the permissions from one user to another, or even delete permissions, which is really powerful. Um, assuming that uh, you know, uh, if you go and manually delete somebody from different list items and lists and sites and so on, you may have missed something or, or overlooked something. So, uh, so at least DeliverPoint is going to trawl everything with inside your entire SharePoint farm if need be, and make sure that those users' permissions are are fully removed. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for for watching this screencast. Uh, there is another full screencast available, which you can download. Um, you, you'll notice the link on, on the same page as this. Many thanks. Bye.